Peace and blessings everyone. Welcome to the Humble Servant Homestead guys. Today we are out here getting ready just to give you all a backdrop of what we're getting ready to do right now. We are actually getting ready to harvest our cucumber seeds uh, for next year. Okay, and so guess what? I want to take you guys along with us on this journey here just to show you guys how we go about extracting the seeds from our cucumbers now one of the things that you want to look for in your cucumber uh, when you know the cucumber is ready to give up the seeds uh, pretty much if y'all can see this one right here it has a real nice yellow and if you see how easy that was to take off of the stem and it has already start going through um, a little bit of rot or fermentation process but we are going to keep this cucumber right here and we'll speak a little bit about it once we get down on that side all right and so these one right here is also uh, good you can see where the cucumber it changes its color now this cucumber right here was pretty much it was dark green and as y'all can see it changed color and that is what you are looking for all right and so what we're going to go ahead and do is harvest all these ripe cucumbers off of the plant and I'm going to show you all the next step of extracting the seeds so stay tuned don't go nowhere okay and also another thing that you want to keep in mind you want to make sure that you leave your cucumber on the plant so that way your seeds can be developed on the inside you don't want to pick these cucumber prematurely put them on your counter and they turn yellow you don't want to do that it is best for them to stay on the vine and vine ripen okay all right and so that is it right there let's go on down to the other side and I'll show you all how we go about taking out the seeds okay and so now we are going to go ahead and get ready to give these cucumber a quick little rinse and then we're going to go ahead and move on into the next step all right all right and so here we are come on in a bit close So this right here was that cucumber that we had that started uh, fermenting on the uh, vine. And so now what we're going to go ahead and do is split this cucumber down the middle and open it up. And if y'all can see all those seeds right there. Now if y'all see uh, all that flesh around these seeds now stay tuned we're going to take you all on that next step showing you guys how to go about getting those from off the seeds all right and so this is uh, simply what you're going to be doing is pretty much just scooping all the seeds from out of the cucumber And so that is where this spoon right here comes in at. And so notice how the seeds separate pretty easily from most of the flesh. And so right in here guys we have a worm. Simple reason why when I left these uh, cucumber here on the plant I was not giving them any more treatment. I just leave them on the plant and so those uh, worms are uh, they able to come on in and you know eat a few of the cucumbers All right and so same thing we're going to go ahead and cut this one down the middle and you want to be careful not to go all the way through with your knife simple reason why you don't want to cut the seeds uh, while you're cutting and these cucumber right here as well what I've noticed 
is they do give you seeds, but not a whole lot of seeds. Right. Which variety is this again? This variety is the Market Moor 76 variety cucumber, which is a heirloom cucumber. And uh, that is why we're here getting these seeds out, you know. And yes, it is uh, quite a bit of seeds here. And so guys, if y'all want some of this variety of cucumber uh, seeds here, just go ahead and check that link out below uh, for our store where we do uh, put these seeds here. Now, for now, or maybe forever, in the store, all the seeds that we have is stuff that we grow here on the homestead, okay? All right, guys, so you kind of get the idea of what's going on here. So now what I want you all to do is just stay tuned. Let me go ahead, get all these seeds here out of these cucumbers, and I will be right back now. Another thing with these cucumber um, uh, scraps over here, these, they are not going to waste. What I'm simply going to do, I'm going to grab my bucket and take them back on up to the chickens, and that will be a treat for them, all right? Stay tuned, guys. Okay, and so we are down to the last one. that's it so now the next step begins guys uh, that is not it now all this pulp and everything else uh, came from the cucumbers and as y'all can see they are ready for the next stage now something I want to touch on real quick now we did had a subscriber um, when we was harvesting our cucumber the other day um, let us know that this worm because I thought it was the vine borer but they say these here are pickling worms, okay? And so, thanks for that, letting me know we had these pickling worms that was trying to eat our cucumber. But hey, as y'all can see, they are still here, still trying to eat. But I'm going to put them in the chicken bucket. <laughs> Chickens will love him, all right? So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to go ahead and get our water hose. And we're just going to put a little bit of water inside of that. And that right there is about good. And now what we're going to do with all these seeds and the pulp, we're going to put them in a cool, dry place for about uh, three, about three days, okay? Now what's going to happen is it's going to get fermented, all right? And all the little pulp and stuff will go ahead and rot or fermented and then what we will do we will come on in and extract the seeds but guess what I am ahead of time I did have a batch that I got started just so I can go ahead and give you guys a real good demonstration all right now I'm going to let you know in advance um, a camera lady might run away from me because it's not a pleasant smell, all right? And so that is it right there. And as y'all can see, all those seeds, guys. Now Ooh. this here has been fermenting for about three days. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour this here in my strainer, just like that. Mm, 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 mm. But that is the process, guys. You wanna get your seeds, that is the process. And I'm just going to go ahead and get all the excess seeds out of there. All right. Woo. So I'm just going to go ahead now and wash all that stuff out of here. See how easy that is?
that right there is another pickling worm that got fermented. <laughs> Right, and get a little bit more wash. And so those are all those seeds there. And so what we are going to do now is just give them a little shake just like that. Get any excess water out of them. Look at all those pretty healthy seeds there guys. And that is what we are looking for. Alright. And so right here what you're going to need next is some napkin. Okay inside of a box that way they won't get uh, blown away so what we're going to do we're simply going to put these seeds here on the napkin okay and we're going to go ahead and spread them all out on the napkin Because what's going to have to happen, these seeds now, they have to go ahead and dry, okay? And how I'm going to dry them, I am going to put them in the sun, but not direct sun. Uh, more so uh, the morning sun, which is not too hot. Um, in the evening, that sun gets too hot, and I just want to make sure that these seeds here, um, they're pretty good okay when they get to you don't want the suns to uh, the sun to burn them up too bad and so we're going to put them in light sun which is that morning sun get all this water off of them and then what we'll do we'll bring them back inside uh, put them underneath the fan so they can can go ahead and kind of air dry and we'll bring them back out in the morning in the sun again now one of the thing you want to make sure that you stay uh, checked on the weather because you don't want these seeds once they dry or in that drying process to go ahead and get wet again Okay, and so uh, that right there is it guys and I pray that you all take something away from this right here uh, saving and extracting your cucumber seeds now that right there is uh, that's something that I want all of you all to go ahead and do is save seeds okay because we don't know a couple years from now what the seeds are going to be like uh, we know they change these things here under our nose all the time so just go ahead save your seeds if you like the variety that you have you like what you got yes save seeds all right so just stay tuned we do have a couple more videos coming up where that we're going to be showing you all how we go about saving seeds for the homestead and also for our store so none of the less guys i just want to say thanks to each and every one of you all out there for stopping by the humble servant homestead and as always peace and blessings to each and every one of you all out there have a blessed day